welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Eon Guardians playthrough so last episode we explored Route 6 went to the power plant turns out that the thing causing all the power problems was a Rotom in the basement so we had to beat that it was actually quite tough obviously it was one of them Pokemon that had that vitality thing so it was like souped up and it was also level 30 as well which is higher level than all of us all of like our Pokemon so yeah we beat that and then we ended the episode with this tree here apparently this is the tree that you can get the Pachirisu from so before we head on I'm gonna try and fast forward to when we get a Pachirisu here so yeah I'll be right back okay so that actually really didn't take that long um, I think it was like three attempts Let's try and catch this straight off the bat. Um, what have we got? What's a nature wall? Grass ground, rock. That's a uh, steel and electric. Maybe we try that. And there you go, we got our patchery, so. So that will go on the team. Doesn't take long either to um Oh my god. Okay, we'll just keep what we got. Yeah, it doesn't take long to actually get a Pokemon to spawn. Especially if you're on the Unreal. Like literally ten minutes of the in-game time and something appears. So now we've done that, we can head to Granite Deep City, I think. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to head up to Amberdale, I think it is up here. Because we do have a quest that we need to finish off. It's just bugging me having that quest. Something to do with a thief. I don't know where this volatile one is either. Might try and do that. And obviously we've done that. We just need to get the Pachirisu. So I'll just fast forward when we get to Amberdale. Turns out it wasn't far. It was literally just to the left. Um, so I need to try and figure out where this thief is. But before we do that, we'll go into the Pokemon Center. Get out our Hatchery suit. It's got the pickup ability as well. It's always handy to have. It means we can deposit um, Teddy Ursa. So, are we missing? Maybe like a dragon or something like that. Although actually having a dragon wouldn't be that beneficial. Because we've already got a fairy type that can deal with dragons. So I think it's apparently somebody in actual Amberdale. Aha, this might be him. What what do you want from me? I've done nothing at all. So you just gotta keep chasing this guy around. Here he is. Leave me alone. So we're literally chasing this guy all around the town. Now where's he gone? I think we might have actually lost him. Uh, look at him trying to hide there. I guess just don't let up. What do you want from me? You're looking for the missing items? Now with this, I have nothing to do. Damn, I guess I'll have to shut you up. So he's probably going to be really low level. Yeah, level 14. Uh, let's just go for a bite. Oh, we can actually use Pachirisu for this. Oh, 
Go for an electro web. Does decent damage. And we just got Salak bury ourselves. Pretty useful. No, 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 this is not good at all. Ah, crap. Everything was grand until you showed up here. Here, then you can get all the stuff back. Boohoo. Okay, so now we just need to remember where we actually got the quests from. Because I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so it's over here. I think it was in the house. It's definitely not that one. Maybe it's one of these over here. Oh yeah, I should have guessed it weren't going to be you, because you're a fisherman. It's not you either. Okay, where actually was this quest from? Ah, oh, there's more houses down here. That's Xavier's parents. Oh, we got an old amber for having the badge. So that means we can get an aerodactyl if we want. Don't really know where you restore fossils though yet. Oh, here we go. Here she is. These are the stolen items, you found them. And was a dark figure involved? Oh well. The main thing is that the properties have reappeared. Thank you for your efforts, I'll return the remaining items to the other residents of Amberdale. Yeah, I'd like to give you this as a thank you gift. Got a silk scarf, boost normal moves. It's not really the best things. I suppose if you're doing a mono normal run then it would be, but apart from that, pretty useless. So now we can head back to Marmotown and apparently that volatile Pokemon appears on route 6 same case again you just have to chase him around oh Munchlax this must be the day K-Man's runaway Pokemon off he runs so now we chase him around, I think. What do I feel like he's going to be hiding? Down here, possibly? No. Okay, where have you... Oh, here you are. Oh, he's going further and further away. Shouldn't we be chasing him the other way? Okay, we'll check that bit in a minute. Okay, yeah, he's, he's definitely up there then. Um, let's pop a repel so we're not getting frequent encounters. I also need to take that berry off, Pachirisu. Oh, we've got a great ball. Oh, we didn't get a salad berry. Oh, maybe you just get it for in battle. Now he's running away again. Trust this Munchlax to just be a nuisance. We'll check here first. How many times do we have to follow it? Okay, he's not there. I got a feeling he's going to be down here now. Nope, still not there. Oh no, here he is. Seems to have made its way back towards Marmotown. Okay, well, we need to head that way anyway. So, do we just go and talk to you? 
Oh, it's not back yet. Where is it then? It definitely said it came back this way. Okay, we've kind of lost the Munchlax. Unless I'm being really blind. But I definitely cannot seem to find it. Hasn't gone down here, has it? Oh, it has. This Munchlax is proper mischievous. I'll give it that. Okay, I've had enough of you, Diglett. Just get out of here. Now you want to miss attacks as well. To be fair, it's good XP for Magby. Look pretty exhausted. It's probably running out of energy. Does that mean it's now returned to the man? I'm hoping so. I've kind of had enough of chasing around this Munchlax. I'm not gonna lie. Aha, there we go. You really did it. Munchlax has returned. It kept you pretty busy, didn't it? Thank you very much for your efforts. I really appreciate it. Why don't you come inside for a minute? Has it run away again? Yeah, you know how it is. Just wanted to play something. But this young trainer here helped me and brought Munchlax back. Oh, really? That was really very nice of you, my child. Yes, yeah, you've done us a great favour. I know that we are currently very busy, but I'd like us to raise the Pokemon with this young trainer if she wants to do so. Yes, we'll manage that somehow. After all, we owe her something. Yes, we do. Just come to us when you want us to raise one of your Pokemon, my child. We'll take good care of your Pokemon, I promise. Stop by whenever you'd like. Honey, I'm going to go back and check on the other Pokemon now. See you soon. And once again, thank you. So you mean... I've just chased that Munchlax around and all you do is oh yeah yeah we'll, we'll do what our job is and start looking after Pokemon again like is that some sort of joke okay so now we can actually make our way to Granite Deep City um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some stuff from the Pokemon and then I'll fast forward to like where we were just outside Granite Deep City I think Okay, so I think this is where we got to, which was Route 11. Yeah, because it said something about cycling road was a shortcut. So did we check here? No, we didn't, because we haven't bad this guy yet. Okay, so star you at level 20. We can just raise a leaf. That's a lot of XP for Magby. Clampo, we can just do the same thing. Go ahead and cast your fishing rod and see for yourself what Pokemon you can find in the sea. We don't really need a war Pokemon, are we? we need a Rock Smash for that. We can't get through there. Okay, well, we're going to have to go up. We will outdo you with our speed. Well, Grattle's not exactly very fast, so... Also not very good against a, um... Flying type. It's going to Pachirisu. To be honest, I'm quite liking my team. The way it's turning out. Um, let's go for an Electro, where that will slow you down as well. Should, yeah, I was going to say, it should KO as well. Seeing as you're, like, double weak to, um... Well, you quad weak to electric and dodge her. This could KO us. You know what? I knew it was going to go for a Fury attack. Thankfully, it only hit twice, sir. 
be too fast for us. Right then, the nurse is literally next to us, so we'll heal here. Does Route 11 have different spawn? Okay, so there's two Pokemon that we're missing, and three during the night. It's kind of midday as well, so we're not going to be um, getting to the night anytime soon. I've right, got some Pasho Berries and Kelpsy Berries. My companions want to play with you. Oh, you're going to have like six Pokemon, aren't you? Yeah. Starting off with a Sandshrew. Very weak, though. And then let's go for a Razor Leaf. Um, Cricket Tart. Let's go Masquerade. And Air Cutter. You can bite all you want, you're not going to stay alive. Spearow. You can go Pachirisu. Electro Web. Pachirisu is actually quick. I thought Spearow was going to outspeed. Finish you with a spark. We've got the paralysis as well. Oh, that is very cheeky. Switching into the ground type. Not something I expected from a um, a breeder. Go back into patchery soon now though. No switch this time. And then a Shinx, we can go Grottle. I don't know if the third gym is in Granite Deep City as well. I mean, I'd assume so because it's the next sort of big town. And a Sea Dart. You know, we're actually going to go Magby. Let's go for a Fire Punch. Also got Mac Punch, which not something I normally expect it to have. It's definitely got to be an egg move because it's not its learn ball. Okay, we've got PP up. Foo Foo, I have a very rare Pokemon. What's this rare Pokemon? No, uh, Porygon, I suppose that is rare. And let's go for a Razor Leaf. And you just go for more speed. Magri's up to level 17. No Porygon. Alright, what's down here? Psst, hey you, do you want to play a little game? Very sus, I'm not going to lie. Very, very sus. Murkrow, we can't really stay in for. Um... You know, let's go Curlia. We'll go for a draining kiss. Is it that we've got? Unless you get KO'd. Okay, then Patchery suits up to you. You know, I can't believe it actually tanked that. Spark just doesn't do enough. Okay, we'll send out Magby. I think you might be able to live a hit. Actually, yeah, just Mac Punch. Glamia. Let's go for a Fire Punch, see how much it does. Don't get flinched. Does Mac Punch finish? No, it doesn't. Oh, you miss her. Magby coming in clutch. Damn, I couldn't deceive you. Right, we've got a heart scale. I want to heal, seeing as we lost a few of our team members. Curly would be so frail, though. Like, right, you went down to two wing attacks. It's not far off becoming a Gardevoir though, so 
I just gotta persist with it. I think it's level 30 it evolves. Here's a pony tar. You know what, I knew I wasn't gonna get away. Okay, I was gonna have to KO you. Yeah. What are the chances of you flinching us there? Okay, yeah, we've battled you. Just need to continue to the right. And now we've got a dodger to deal with. I'm kind of expecting this to take us up to level 16. Ah, oh, the crits. Okay then, so... Even more trainers. It's actually further than I was expecting. Okay, let's go for a bulldoze. Now we're kind of stuck as well. Roselia. Let's go Masquerade. I don't think Magby will be able to take it out. And just Air Cutter. That can't dampen my spirits. I think I saw Pachirisu has got an item as well. Oh, need to press the wrong thing there. No, it's just an antidote. A thermo ball, that's another new item. Works well, especially when I'm firing ice type. Yeah, kind of makes sense actually. Let's take on all these trainers. So we got a Chincha, which we can just raise a leaf. Shockwave shouldn't do too much. Just realised how low health we are as well. And out comes Quillfish. Is this actually poison type? I can't remember. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, we got a little bit lucky there that it didn't actually have a poison move. Let's use a super potion. And we've got another fisherman. This time with three Pokemon. In Barboach, we can just raise a leaf since it's water, breath, uh, water ground. Course left, I think that's water rock. What level does Grottle evolve now? I know it's earlier than 36 because it didn't evolve to level 18 into Grottle. I want to say it's 32, but that might be a guess. If it does, then we're not that far off, really. Got a sharp beak. Sailor, Man of the Sea, Alberto, he's got to have the, the standard of having a Machop, surely. Eraticate, um, nah, I think we're just staying, let's go for Bulldoze. And one more. No, oh, it just lives. We'll go for a bite to finish it. There you go, there's the Macha. I knew it was going to have one. And an air cutter should suffice. Magby's up to level 21. Now we need to use another super potion. 
Okay, I think we're nearly there. Although, actually, no, I think that's cycling mode. Ooh, okay, it's Skarmory. Which is a little bit of a problem. Let's go for Elite Seed. And bite. Okay, we're not going to be able to take too many more of them. So let's switch to Pachirisu. Should be able to live one. And then are you going to go for Air Cutter again? Hopefully not. And they go for Fury Attack. Okay, we're gonna lose the grotto. But now we can go into Magby. Fire Punch. And then all that XP. So Skyrim was not strong enough. It was pretty tough though. It's causing me issues. Oh, we got one of them double battles. If you want to go to Granite Deep City, then you have to pass us first. Have you ever fought against the Cool Trainer? Uh, yeah. Although I don't think we have in this game yet. Okay, so you got a Vigoroth and a Kadabra. Not the best for us. Um, Sugar Bug should do good damage. I'm going to Drain and Kiss the Vigoroth. Kadabra actually lived. That might be a problem. Dranicus doesn't quite do enough. Another struggle bug would do the damage there. Okay, that definitely gets taken out now. Magby wants to learn flame burst. Get rid of smoke screen. Out comes a Grovile and a Prinplop. Do we just go for Air Cutter? And then I'm gonna. We can't really switch. I'm go for Magical Leaf on the Prinplop. Right, Grovile goes down. Ah, oh, Metal Claw, I forgot about that. Send out Patchery so At least this air cutter should be just one target. Doesn't go down though, but to be fair, Patchery so outspeeds. I'm not expecting that. It's gone up to level 17. Magby's level 23. Right, let's take the item off you. Another antidote. And hopefully this is Granite Deep City. Yes it is. Ah, oh, looks like we got a um, rival battle there. Again. So we'll heal up first. City is so big and there's so much to see. You should really take a good look around so you don't miss anything. Many useful items can be made from berries. You should try to always grow a large supply. Otherwise it can take forever until you have nest fruit berries together. You can apparently even get mobile berry pots at the... Oh my god, this guy doesn't stop talking. Steel type Pokemon are immune to poison moves. Okay, so does that mean it's a poison gym? Don't forget to take enough breaks. Still have a long way to go before we collect all the badges. Okay. Let's dig into the um, town then. Well, city. City, yeah. Specialises in poison type. He just said something about just having psychic types won't be enough. 
my son's a Pokemaniac. He's a nice boy, but he doesn't really get his life together. I wonder what I should do to make it something out of him. Okay. Is he upstairs? I'm Pokemaniac. I love rare Pokemon more than anything. Currently, I'm looking for a Ponyta. For Slowpoke. Nah. Slowpoke sucks. It's too slow. To be fair, Slowbro's decent. It's obviously really bulky. But I'm pretty sure that that is our rival waiting. Grand Deep City is also a busy place at night. You could also say Granite Deep City is a city that never sleeps. Okay. We live here in the big city, but I think it's also important that children get to know and appreciate nature as well. That's why we take our son on as many outings as we can. Now I'm assuming our rival's going to stop us. Yeah. Hey, Pokiax, it's you. I haven't seen you since our battle in Amberdale. How are you doing? I just arrived in Granite Deep City. I'm overwhelmed by the size of the city. There's certainly a lot to discover here. We should take a good look around. By the way, have you met Logan again? Earlier on Route 11 I battled against him. I lost hands down, he has really become very strong. But he has such a dogged battle style. I don't know how good that is for his Pokemon. I mean, win at all costs. I think that can also easily backfire. Uh, I just remembered, I have a little gift for you. Here, you'll love it. Ah, okay. Now heals 33% of your Pokemon's HP and revives defeat team members. Not bad, right? That is pretty cool. So now the package of the Granite Deep Mall, and I'm finally done. Hey, that's the letter carrier who mixed up Professor Bruce's and Professor Khaled's packages. You'd better leave the department store package to us, you runt. Oh, I thought that was our rival then, I was going to say. Huh? Who said that? Ooh, Team Gaia. We Team Gaia. Now don't be an idiot and give us the package, Wimp. I, um, I can't just give you someone else's package. I am, after all, a trusted official of the postal system. You'll be on the floor right away if you don't cooperate with us. I, um, let me think for a moment. Why doesn't he just run? Never. Oh, there we go. Damn, of course this sucker's not making it easy for us. Come on, after him. You know the instructions from the boss. We need to get our hands on this package. Did you hear that, Pokéax? These guys are up to something. We can't let this happen. They'll chase the poor letter carrier all over town and do ask Gears knows what to him. We absolutely have to help him. Let's go find him. Okay then. New quest. Um, I was kind of expecting to have a battle with that rival because we haven't seen him for a while, but he's clearly not the battling type. So I think we'll just do a bit more exploring before we um, head to Team Gaia. Husband and I used to travel a lot. The most beautiful trip over was the cruise on the SSN five years ago. She had left from Vermilion City in Kanto. There you could not only relax wonderfully but also watch heated Pokemon battles. When we were on the cruise, a boy with a red cap beat me just before we left, using only his Pikachu. Unbelievable, isn't it? This was really a very talented trainer. I like how they've linked this to like actual canon Pokemon games. Because obviously that's referring to red and blue and yellow when you uh, go on the SSN. So it's, it's alluding that she's one of the trainers that you battle. I have a pen pal in Coral Town. We've been writing each other a letter once a month for many years. Fortunately, this time I missed the mail ship and delivery by Pelipper Post is too expensive. You're a trainer, right? It means you get around a lot, don't you? Would you give this letter in mind to a pen pal in Coral Town? You're the greatest, thank you. Here, this letter needs to go. You are really my salvation. My friend lives right in the house next to the Pokemon Center in Coral Town. You'll surely find her. So now we're in letter service as well. What, what don't we do? Yeah, I've noticed it's very laggy in this town. And I'm assuming it's because it's a big town. So there's a lot sort of going on. Oh yeah, we've already been in there. So I might try and take the speed up off. See if that changes it. No, it's still laggy. Dad brought me a Pokeblock set from his cruising home. 
but I just can't find it recently. At the same time, I'm sure where I'd put it. Oh, someone there with a gibble. Now, gibble is something that could add to the team. Have a good day today here, I want to give you. I'm sure you can put them to good use. A pomeg berry. Who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll have another good day. There's a lot of people in this game that just give you um, berries randomly. But yeah, going back to the gibble, I could definitely use a Garchomp. Probably my second favourite um, Dragon Pokemon. I think that's just because obviously Cynthia uses one. Oh, Pokemon Battles, okay. I thought these were just NPCs, but clearly not. Okay, we need to speed this up because it's going way too slow. Again, spoil once you've got speed up. Okay, let's raise a leaf. And Vibro. I reckon he lives this Razor Leaf. Just about. And then you use a Lemonade. Get a crit. Oh, maybe not. We're due to miss a Razor Leaf, to be fair. Wow, you're so strong. Okay, so note to self, don't go down there because it's full of trainers. Marketplace is not far from here. There's something different to cover there every day. It's worth checking back after. Oh, I need to take the speed up off. So is this the marketplace? Shard expert. Okay, yeah. You make sh actual shards from berries. Import booth. Moo Moo Milk 600. Cologne case is 3000. Makes it more trusting. I like that you can buy them though. Travelling Craftsman. You make Heart Scales, Shoal Salts, a Shoal Shell, and a Shoal Bell. Okay, yeah, so you need blue shards. That's interesting though. I know I don't have enough berries to make the shard I want. If I don't make them today, I'll have to wait again until the craftsman comes back in a few days. I have to do something. I really need two cherry berries. Do we not have two cherry berries? Okay, maybe we don't. Pretty cool that you can um, do that though. I don't think we've explored in here yet. No, that's a curly. I was about to click on that person thinking it was a um, an NPC. Okay, these clearly like their um, psychic Pokemon. Okay, so on to the next house. To be honest, I'll be glad when we're out of this city because the lag's really annoying. Welcome to Grand Deep City Environmental Centre. As if you're doing an environmental centre out of this place. For example, if you look at the beaches around Grand Deep City, many people just throw their trash away no matter where they are. At the same time, there are more than enough trash cans in the city. Garbage left on the beach gets in. Oh, okay, yeah, you're one of them people. Would you like to help us and make your contribution? Bring me a full garbage bag, I'll give you a small reward. I mean, I don't mind doing it for something. People in the city often lack a sense of the environment. Have you ever wondered why poison moves are very effective on grass type Pokemon? Well, that just reflects the relationship between trash and all nature. Okay, so we've got a few earth people in there. Did we talk to you? I think, yeah, I think we did. 
I work at the Port of Granite Deep City. It's hard but honest work. I try to give my children a good education so they can earn their money more easily later on. Don't get me wrong, I'm proud of my profession. I want my children to have the freedom to choose how they shape their future. That's why I get up every morning and go to work. That's nice of you. Very nice. Feeding the bellies and my four children. Oh wow, okay, if you got four children then um, you kind of need to work hard unless you want to live on benefits. And here they all are. We'll grab this out of the trash can. My parents are trying to give us the best education possible so that we can have a good life later. It's pretty expensive with four kids, I guess. I guess we should be grateful to them. Apparently there wasn't this constant learning. Brother is always talking about his great Pokemon career. I think he has no idea how much work being a trainer really is. I mean, it's not really that hard. You get some po get a Pokemon, go out, start catching other Pokemon, training, getting it stronger, end up with a team, go get your badges, yeah. P pretty simple really. Okay, we can't do the gym. Gym leaders are not on site right now. So we probably have to do that Gaia um, event. Oh my god, there's so much to explore. What's this? Deep sea worlds. Okay, I think what we're going to do, because if I do the whole of this town, like exploring it, we're going to end up with a really, really long video. So what we'll do, we'll end the episode here. I know we haven't really done anything um, apart from a few side quests, but yeah, next episode we will finish exploring Granite Deep City and go and chase down Team Gaia, stop them from beating up a postman to death. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time.